Hi, I'm Mike, Pokey Tips Mike, and today I'll be teaching you how to unlock 23 characters in Pokemon Masters absolutely free. There are lots of characters in Pokemon Masters. As of right now, when I'm making this video, there are 65 trainers available. However, most of them you'll need to use gems to obtain. But luckily for us, the game is pretty generous and gives us 23 trainers that you don't need to spend a single gem to get. And the best part is, by using these trainers, you can get through the whole game completely free without spending any money. So, are you ready to unlock these trainers? Give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So starting things off, right from the beginning of the game, you start unlocking characters. When you first turn on the game, you unlock the main character who uses a Pikachu, and shortly after that, the game gives you Misty with her Starmie and Brock with his Onix. From there, to unlock the other 20 characters, all you'll need to do is simply play through the storyline. The storyline of Pokemon Masters has you going through the Paseo region, getting strong enough to eventually challenge the Pokemon Masters League, which is basically the same thing as like the Pokemon League from the main series Pokemon games. Each part of the storyline is its own chapter, and as of right now, there are 18 chapters in total. Every time you complete a chapter, you'll unlock a new character, starting right from the beginning with Chapter 1 unlocking you Rosa. And in addition, you also get two more characters from playing through the storyline. After completing Chapter 1, the game will give you a free Sync Pair Scout, which will always give you Whitney. And then around Chapter 10, you also unlock a special bonus chapter called an Interlude, where if you complete it, you'll get a special Cygnus Suit Brock, who uses a Tyranitar instead of Onix. Now, if getting 23 characters isn't enough for you, there's other reasons why you want to do the story as well. Completing the storyline basically unlocks the rest of the game, like being able to evolve your Pokémon and being able to use missions and training area, so you'll definitely want to do the storyline. Now, by completing the storyline, these are the characters that you get. Chapter 1 gives you Rosa and Snivy, one of the best characters in the game, I definitely recommend using her on your team. Chapter 2 gives you Barry and Piplup, and fun fact, his Piplup can actually evolve all the way to an Empoleon. Chapter 3 gives you Flannery and Torkoal. Chapter 4 will give you Erica and Vileplume and also unlock the level cap for you. Chapter 5 unlocks the character Skyla and her partner Swana, and again, she's one of the best characters in the game to use because her support skills are so good. Chapter 6 gives you Corina and Lucario, and her Lucario could actually mega evolve. For Chapter 7, you'll get Norman and Slacking. Chapter 8 gives you Price and Seal, and his Seal can evolve into a Dugong. When you complete Chapter 9, you'll get the characters Iris and Haxorus. Chapter 10 will give you Hapu and Mudsdale. Now these first 10 chapters took me about 4 to 5 hours of playing the game to actually complete, however I think you could do it much faster if you go ahead and skip all the dialogue and play the game on the fastest setting. After completing chapter 10, unlocking the rest of the characters gets a lot faster because the next chapters don't have as many missions. From here, you can play the interlude and unlock Brock and Tyranitar, and then move on to Chapter 11 where you unlock Hao and Alolan Raichu. Now once you get Hao and Alolan Raichu, again, I'd recommend putting this guy on your team because he's so incredibly good. Alolan Raichu's Discharge skill is a very strong electric type attack, and the best part is it hits all three opponents at once. Using Hao along with Rosa and Skyla will make this game a piece of cake for you. Then, Chapter 12 gives you Flint and Infernape, Chapter 13 gives you Claire and Kingdra, Chapter 14 gives you Viola and Surskit, Chapter 15 gives you Nanu and Alolan Persian, Chapter 16 gives you Koga and Crobat, Chapter 17 gives you Ace Rolla and Palosand, and finally, the last available chapter for us right now is Chapter 18, which unlocks Charon and Stoutland. Now, once you reach the end of Chapter 18, currently the game says this is the end of the story, but I'm sure more will be added to the game in a future date and we'll actually be able to unlock even more free characters. 
But as of right now, doing all of this will give you 23 free characters in addition to lots of gems from completing the storyline. If you get really lucky with your sync pair scouts, you could actually have more than 30 different characters by the time you complete the storyline, which is pretty good for not spending any money. Completing the main storyline shouldn't be very hard at all. You could basically use any characters that you want for any mission and you shouldn't have any problems. If you start running into any trouble, go ahead and watch my training guide and level up your Pokemon, and once they're high enough leveled, you'll have absolutely no problem at all. And my friends, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoy your 23 free characters in Pokemon Masters, and if this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.